Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Flavio Pereira. I'm part of the technical enablement team. This is the part six of the compute level 200 lesson. Uh, and in this part, we're going to talk about bring your own hypervisor and what's the options, are the options available um, on OCI and how we can achieve that. So in order to give an overview, just uh, how you can support those hypervisors uh, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. This is an architecture diagram uh, where we can see how we can place a bare metal instance and associated multiple virtual NIC cards on different subnets. So just to, to give an idea, so when you, when you deploy a bare metal uh, instance and you want to put a hypervisor on top of it, uh, you can do that, right? And then you can add guests on top of these hypervisors. So those guests, those virtual machines, they can get one VNIC that can be associated to different subnets inside of OCI. So if you have a regional subnet um, um, across your availability domains and you want one of those guests to use one of those subnets, you can associate one NIC to it. Uh, you can also have a, spe have a specific AD subnet and then associated another um, guest VM to that specific subnet. So that way, the guest, uh, when he's deployed on this type of environment, for uh, around the VCN, that's going to be transparent, which means that if you have other virtual machines that you deployed inside of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure, or even bare metal servers that you deploy, that they can talk to those guests uh, without any problem. So they're going to use they're going to use they're going to they're going to use the same uh, network configurations um, under the VCN. So they'll be uh, under the same rules of secure lists and network secure groups. So everything that you select for your specific um, VCN and the subnet, uh, route tables and secure lists and all the all that things, it's still going to be applied for those guests running on top of the, the hypervisor. So which is really nice. Uh, you can have one hypervisor up and running OCI, uh, control the guests on top of it. You can control the amount of memory. Uh, you can control the amount of CPU you want associated. Of course, you're going to be limited to the amount of CPU and memory on the host, right, on the hypervisor. Uh, it depends on the barometer shape you pick to, to do that. That's going to be um, your limitation. Okay, so what the hypervisors that we support? Um, as of today, we support uh, Oracle um, the virtual machine, the OVM. You can make OVM connection from your on-premises environment to OCI and be able to bring machines from your on-premise, your guest machines from on-premises to OCI. You can also use KVM. KVM is another hypervisor. It's an open source hypervisor that you can uh, bring your guest machines uh, on top of OCI. You can spin up a KVM host uh, and then put all your virtual machines on top of it. Microsoft Hyper-V is another one. You can have a Microsoft Hyper-V installed uh, on top of the bare metal hosts and then bring the, the VMs on top of it. All right, so this is going to allow you to extend the environment, give more flexibility uh, when you want to migrate um, guests from on-premises to OCI, your virtual machine guests from one of those hypervisors over to the cloud. Uh, let's give you the plan, uh, flexibility to do that. So for those that actually uh, wants to get a uh, um, fast way to deploy a KVM server on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, you can use one of the images um, that's available in the marketplace. There's a marketplace for Oracle Linux KVM uh, that you can easily deploy KVM on one of the bare metal machines available uh, available there and then uh, with that you can just um, spin up the guests on top of those um, uh, on top of this hypervisor uh, with all the kvm already installed and you can start um, creating your, your guests your virtual machines and then picking the vc the subnet that they want to be placed to it so the only require requirement is that you really you should be familiar with the kvm commands uh, in order to create a guest to manage the guests, manage disks, uh, and all that. So that'll be one of the requirements. But the machine, the, uh, the image is all prepared with all the right configurations, right parameters in order to have a KVM uh, installation ready for you to use. Okay, so let me do a quick demo. I'm gonna show how you can deploy this KVM image from the marketplace in OCI, uh, and then deploy your, your KVM host and uh, on, on Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. 
All right, so let me do a quick demo and show you how you can have your KVM um, server in installed on, on OCI and I'm going to use the KVM image uh, that I that I presented on the on the presentation so let me just go through uh, the demo so here you can see I have I'm logging on the OCI console if I go on the left menu uh, and select compute instances uh, I can let's just pick up my compartment and I already have a KVM server deployed um, I just want to show how, how we go to the process of launching that image through the marketplace and then we can come back and access that instance uh, uh, once, once it's ready. So let me, let me go to the process of creating the instance. When you click here, create instance, uh, of course you can enter a name, uh, then you can see the, the image right, uh, of Oracle Linux, that's a default one. So in order to, to, do, to change and use the KVM, we can click on change image source and if you click on Oracle images you're gonna see a bunch of Lima images available in the marketplace that you can take um, you can take a look and use it uh, depends on your workload or what you're trying to accomplish but you can see from JD Edwards, ZBS, Oracle Autonomous Linux developer image uh, and if you scroll down you're gonna see the Oracle Linux KVM image so I'm gonna select this one and I have to accept uh, the terms and restrictions and then I can um, I can pick the availability domain that I want to deploy and as you can see the image is not available for virtual machine is only available for burr metal machine I can switch here to the burr metal shape and this is the burr metal shape that I'm going to use it it's, uh, BM standard 2 with 52 CPUs and 768 gig of memory I can Change, uh, select the, the network configuration, um, my public subnets or my private subnets if I have if I have one created. Then I, I can in, inject my SSH key as well. And then once I have it, I can click create, uh, and then the, the instance will be will be ramp, up and running. Right. So as I have one already, so let me just show how you access that and what exactly is inside it. So I have this KVM server up and running. If I click on top of it. Uh, that's going to give me some more details of that image. Uh, I have an image of Oracle Linux KVM that I use here to deploy. Uh, I was deploying availability domain one using file domain one. This is the shape that I use it uh, for that specific um, host. So you can see I have the public IP. Let me get the public IP, and I'm gonna do a, I'm going to do an SSH to it. Okay, so inside of the, the server, uh, I can check the amount of CPUs, right? I do have a 52. Um, it's a hyper -tready enabled, so you can see from 0 to uh, 103 uh, CPUs available. Um, I have uh, almost um, you know, 768 gig of memory on, on this box. So it's a, it's a part of a box. And as I have a KVM installed, let me just check the, the packages. So if we do RPM dash QA pipe grab KVM, so I can see all the KVM packages installed um, on this box. So if I, as a, as a regular KVM, I can use the Versh commands to actually list the guests uh, that I created here. So if I do Versh list dash dash all, I do have a CentOS uh, 8 guest up and running. So this is a guest that I created. I created with four CPUs and eight gig uh, memory, um, this guest. And this guest is actually using one uh, IP address of my subnet. So I'm attaching a VNIC uh, from the host to that specific guest. And I'm also running the boot volume of this guest uh, on top of a block volume that was attached to the to the hypervisor host. So if I go back here to the details and you scroll down a little bit here, I can see the the attached VNIX. So this is the actually the private IP of my uh, instance. I have a 10.0.2.22. This is the private IP of my guest. And I do have a block volume which is with is 50 giga uh, 50 gig on block volume attached to, to that server that I actually used for my uh, VM guest. So if I if I pick up the private IP here and 
from the host here I can do an SSH to this so I didn't set up a uh, SSH uh, key for that specific guest but of course you can do that uh, it's just for um, the effect of the demo here so let me just access this uh, guest okay so here's a here I'm inside of the guest if I check the um, the, um, the amount of uh, CPU I can see it's four CPUs um, available and I have a giga RAM on memory right so if I check the network it's actually as you can see it's using the 10222 so that means any other uh, virtual machine that I, I deployed in OCI can actually talk to the server on the same uh, subnet right so this guest is it's actually part of the 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 subnet in the VCN so any other machine on the same VCN will be able to um, you know exchange information talk to this this uh, VM guest without having to go through hops of routers and, and in configuration so he's on the same is on the same network right so from here you can install any application uh, you can even put a load balancer uh, if you install it, for example web server put a load balancer using OCI and redirect traffic to uh, that specific IP address uh, you can do that too so it's part of the VCN so that will will work without any problems all right so that's easy you it's it's how you can deploy a key VM image and then after that you can start bringing over your VM guests and, and just deploy those uh, on top of OCI so here you have a hypervisor uh, and then you can have multiple guests and you can uh, deploy using the amount of memory the amount of CPU that you want uh, for that specific guest alright so this will conclude our compute level uh, 200 lesson so in summary we went over to how you set up the instance configuration and pool uh, we'll walk through the uh, to that configuration and how it works and and how you can um, deploy the configuration and pool inside of OCI we talked about uh, out scaling configurations how you can do out scaling uh, on your on your machine of your machines uh, we described and validate some of the instance console connections how you can troubleshoot your instances and get access even if you don't have network um, um, configuration configured uh, on OCI so using custom images you can bring your own image how you can deploy custom images uh, in OCI the difference between emulated native and you know bring your own image uh, as well uh, and, and, if, and the last one was the, the KVM uh, configuration and demo and how you can bring your own hypervisor uh, on top of OCI so I hope you like it um, and thanks for watching